The time is here. It worked out nice, even though we're on separate adventures. Both of our start times are the same, so that's pretty cool. Just a reminder, Snow's going on a boat ride, and that was 6,000 pesos, so right there. Uh, all the boats that go on the glacier to here at Moreno Perito, Perito Moreno, all of them leave from right here at the same place. So she's going on that glass top boat. My boat is not back yet, but my adventure was a little bit more expensive. I can't remember the price because I'm going to be actually trucking on a glacier, which also means my hike is going to last a little longer. So walking down there, getting ready to board the boats respectively. Divide and conquer. We're going to show you all this thing from every angle. <laughs> Snow's boat, my boat. All right, Kurt's first in line too. We're both so excited. We're a little anxious. His boat, a little bit smaller than mine, but he's going on a much cooler adventure. I'm so excited to see what he gets to see, just like you guys. Of course, Snow's first in line. She's excited, and I'm excited for her. I'm excited for myself. This is gonna be cool. All right, turns out I am first aboard. And I'm getting on our boat before Snow's getting on hers. <laughs> Aqui? <laughs> All right, we must be in the front row. It's much, much bigger than I thought. Wow. Now ideally we see a big chunk of it fall off. That's called Calvi. And uh, it's always cool to catch that. I don't see anything that looks like it's moving and I, quite honestly I don't know. So we had a short 15 minutes on the boat over here across and we kind of just cruised right in front of this giant glacier wall right there. What an amazing experience. Something has just been kind of on our bucket list forever. You can see a giant iceberg sitting right there in front of us and a couple more little ice chunks over there on the beach. But we're about to hop off and do a little trek on this ice. All right, we got a few minutes while everybody stores their bags. I think Snow's on that boat right out there, just staring at the glacier. I'm a little laggard. I was off taking some videos, but I'm dragging up the rear here. But the first little bit of the hike walks us along the edge of the glacier. And in the background, we can hear occasionally these giant explosions. I'm assuming it's inside the glacier somewhere. These things mashing up each against each other, just popping, breaking, exploding. It's actually pretty intense, more than you'd think, because they just look so still sitting there. Just to give you a scale to the size of the glacier, if you look out there, it looks like there's another ice trekking tour, or maybe even two, in front of us on the ice. They kind of look like little ants out there. You, you win a chocolate. Second chance. Remind me later. Uh, well, we are. Oh, look, that split. This is a zoom in. Uh, you came with the transfer in this way and here you take the boat to cross in the leg arm the ice bag is moving <laughs> sorry it's very I'm, interesting I'm, taking, uh, I'm pushing the button 
you can you can see it's hard to compete with the ice bear. Yeah, yeah sorry. I know, I know. <laughs> oh, look. Yeah, yeah it's moving. Yeah, it's Turn it on. It's a side pop. Beautiful. Motion, no need boards. Incredible. That that piece of ice is not coming for from Calvin, uh, from the the south face. It's coming from the bottom. Ah. Uh. The ice it's like it's not uh, straight. Uh, it's when where it's um, under the water. It look like. With a cave, and and when the when don't have enough uh, weight uh, ice uh, up there, uh, all the the, the bottom is uh, like um, try Fault. to it's on the bedrock and it's coming up because trying it's to go up. less density floating than the water, so. It like Snow's boat tour might be about done and ours is just getting started. Right, we came to this little photo shoot area and over here there's definitely been some calving action a little bit and uh, you can hear a little river kind of water running through there. But we've learned a lot about the glaciers. I tell you, when it's not so windy. But this is where they meet the land right here. It's kind of a cool place. And as we learn, these things are always moving, always pushing forward. Yep. All the way from the U.S. It's been an amazing journey, let me tell you. Many beautiful things, many beautiful people. The old climbers want. All right, it's time to get the crampons on. 
stealing ice. Look at this, guys. Tell everybody, everyone we know, we ain't got time for that today. Cause we got somewhere <laughs> we're about to go. Big dreams that take us far away. Here we go, we're taking off. Okay. Okay, thank you. Yeah, all right, I'm getting a little coaching right here up at the front. I love the pretty blue of the glacier. Every once in a while you find a tunnel and a little melting river. <laughs> but in my mind, I picture it would really be a lot smoother than it actually is. Wow, amazing. And our first river crossing. One step behind, please. Yeah. Walking on water. Woo! Our guide can walk on water. 
Nicholas. How is that you can walk? Because you can see more white. That more white is ice, and then you can see more clear the water, right? Mm -hmm. The clear part are not to hurt the ice part, the white one. Yes. You know. So. And you can just put their whiskey in my glass. <laughs> you look like a guy who don't drink whiskey. I don't. Today I'll make an exception. 400, year, uh, 400 years who came from the ice field to here. And the whiskey have it like 12 years old. So I think, it, I think it could be the oldest whiskey you can try. In some way, you know? Cheers, guys. Okay, guys. Who wants more chocolate? I want one, please. No! <laughs> wow! <laughs> What an amazing trip, guys, on the glacier. To be honest with you, I thought it was gonna be more of a trek, but it was really more educational. We learned a whole lot about glaciers, how these things move, the different formations on the ice, the impacts of global warming. And it was really, really, really a super, super cool, uh, really more of a tour than a trek. But we definitely did some walking on the glaciers and we got to look at some very hairy spots. But these guys did a great job and they really, really, really have this place nice. And uh, yeah, I would definitely recommend this tour. It's so cool. Well, you know what they say. There are no kingdoms without rulers. Are you ready for change? We could be kings and queens every day. On the low, we are brave. Yes, even braver than the bravest. So let's go. Stop the race. We should be kings and queens every day. You've been told isn't here to yet, is it? Your crown. Happy camper through the ups and downs. Keeping calm 
We could not get enough of the glacier. We are back to take a walk on what they call the balconies. See if we can get a better look at this thing. So we are here. Looks like we can go down the hill and there's a couple loops. This one's right here on the front side. We haven't seen that. From here you can see what an immense glacier field this is. And this glacier field is the south end of the third largest glacier field in the world. The other two being Greenland and Antarctic. So Antarctica. So these are the largest glacier fields that aren't on one of the poles. And this glacier right here, this Perito Moreno Glacier, is actually one that is not retreating, one of the few in the world. Although, after taking a walk on the ice, we have learned that here in the last couple years, it has been giving way a little bit. But there's a phenomenon that makes this so special. And what happens is, the wind comes from the Pacific Ocean and if you guys have been watching you know we spend a lot of time on the Andes Mountains which run on the west side of South America well there's a little pass here where the wind comes through and it picks up all the humidity and all the moisture off the Pacific Ocean and it actually carries it up to this huge ice field where it dumps 360 days a year of snow and ice and so the way the glacier works is as the ice packs up on top the weight of the glacier the weight of the snow just compacts it and turns it in to that really really beautiful blue ice and as it pushes down we can just hear it popping and back popping and cracking in the background because as the weight pushes down on this glacier it actually pushes and moves forward and one of the things about this type of glacier is underneath of it is a layer of water so this glacier kind of sits on the bedrock but the water actually acts as a lubricant to help the push the glacier forward so it's always kind of pushing forward and then in the front what you're looking at these big icebergs they're always calving off calving off and so the glacier just migrates down the hill and it's such a cool phenomenon so Kurt ventured farther down the trail but guys it just kept going down and down and down which is no problem but I gotta remember my bum tickers gotta get me back up and there are quite a few stairs so I sat there and enjoyed it for a little bit from my level that I could get to now I am starting my slow climb out of here. One last look at this beautiful glacier before we head out of here. We had a good time. Snow, you ended up doing some steps on the platforms, <laughs> didn't you? My Fitbit says it was 25 flights of stairs to get out of there. I did good. I only had to stop and rest four times. So I'm feeling good about that. And the ticker kept on ticking. <laughs> Alright guys, I gotta do a quick vlog because there's a lot of music playing here and it's loud. But the van is parked, if you can see Super right there. Hard to park spot because the village is inundated with people because of the festival. It's a festival, it's Friday night. It's we crazy. just got back from the glacier. Primo Snow spot. found us. Rockstar parking. We walk into the restaurant, first one we find. This incredible like entertainment, singing, all kinds of cool stuff. 
Yeah, 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 yeah. So we're about to have some food. I we're gonna get this right here, the Paradia uh, Patagonia Parados. So probably butchered it, but Arge Argentina barbecue. Poco. Puerto Comida aquí. Perfecto. So, listo. Okay. Paria. Patagonia. ¿Cómo se dice? Parijala. 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 Patagonica. Sí, Patagonica. Ah, okay. Okay. Verduras grilladas. Okay, perfecto. Verduras grilladas. Verduras grilladas. Consulta. Medium o medium red. Uh, medium, medium, mediano. Y, y también mixta. Ensalada mixta. Sí. sí. Limonada okay. sin azúcar. Limonada sin azúcar, correcto. Sí. También. Sí. Y uh, cerveza Patagonia. ¿Te gustaría de Grande. Sí. <coughs> Lag lager. Amber lager. Ok. Sí. Gracias. Thank you. Muy bien. Thank you. Oops. All right. That was quick. Food is on the way. Everything's falling into place. Uh, looks like the music people are maybe calling a break or a night. But we get to see a good show. So that was awesome. And we're about to have like an authentic, like grilled. Yeah, yummy, yummy dinner. All right. <laughs> <laughs> Listen to it sizzle, guys. Real Look at that. For two. I think this is enough for ten. And look at this veggie plate. Oh yeah, we're digging in. I had to start off with those sweet breads. They were so good. They're already gone. They went fast. Salad's tasty. Veggies are good, and the lamb is to die for. If you like this video, be sure to subscribe to our channel and hit that notification bell so you guys know when we put out new videos. And don't forget, you can always follow us over on Instagram to see what's going on in between videos. Cheers guys! <laughs>